This is the Art Museum of the Americas, located in the heart of Washington, D.C. And this is Jorge Takla, a Chilean painter and illustrator who brings with him a traveling exhibition. I've been introduced to the world of art since I was uh, very young, but not to the visual art, to music. Takla's work explores the contradictory human condition. He draws inspiration from social, political, and historical events, some of which he has personally witnessed. I become very aggressive when people that I knew at the School of Music, uh, they were killed. Because of that, I ended up you know, going to art school uh, to do something, and then I got familiar with the visual art. In his latest series, Hidden Identities, Takla shines light into the shadows of memory. This is a collection of drawings and paintings represented in different shades of gray and blue colors, painted in oil and mixed with cold wax. The reason why I use cold wax is because it's similar to our skin. It's very sensitive and vulnerable, and it keeps the paintings in a kind of like a movement all the time because it's never dry, so all the pigment, they are still moving on into the world. So it, it reminds the body, so the, 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 the material that I use is the remind of the body. In 1981, after studying art in Chile, Takla moved to New York. During his time in the Big Apple, Another September 11th unfolded before the artist. It intensified his art even more. These creations allow the viewers to interpret visceral and painful images that reflect psychological and emotional concerns. My work deals with memory and the thickness of the brain. This painting referred to a very well-known situation in Chile with a woman called La Flaca Alejandra, who was captured by the military and then through the process of her with her torture, they began to have relationships. She had the pain and pleasure because she started to be closer to the person who was torturing her, so that the bed means that. And then at the same time, there was a river in the middle of Santiago where Paris was were throwing there and then disappearing through. Sometimes the aggressor for, you know, doesn't have any conscious of his aggressiveness and comes close to the victim without any knowledge about the damage that has been created. And uh, this series, you know, uh, deals a lot with that. By incorporating terror, devastation, pain and pleasure, Takla brings to life memorable works of art created as a tribute to political remembrance and the interpretation of human emotions. You, know, you put things through the limit, and that's why you know, my work deals with that moment. <laughs> 